please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. In this question, we want to find the sum of x and y. Now there is a very long solution to this question, and there is a very short solution. We'll begin with the long solution. So here we'll solve this system using the elimination method. So first we'll take the top equation and multiply both sides by 2 to get 6x minus 8y equals 6. And we'll take the bottom equation and multiply both sides by 3 to get 6x minus 15y equals 15. Since we now have 6x in the top equation and 6x in the bottom equation, we can subtract the two equations to eliminate the x's. So here we have 6x minus 6x, so the x's cancel out. Next we have negative 8y minus negative 15y, which gives us positive 7y. And finally we have 6 minus 15, which equals negative 9. At this point we can solve this equation by dividing both sides by 7 to get y equals negative 9 sevenths. Now that we know the value of y, we can plug this value into any of the above equations. Let's use this equation, which we can move down here. So when we replace y with negative 9 sevenths, we get an equation that we can solve for x. First we'll simplify the left hand side. Then we'll subtract 36 over 7 from both sides. And finally we'll divide both sides by 3 to get x equals negative 5 sevenths. Now that we know the values of x and y, we can find their sum. When we plug in the values, we can see that x plus y is equal to negative 2, so the answer here is a. Now that was the long solution. Here's the short solution. First notice that the question does not ask us to find the individual values of x and y. Instead, it asks us to find the sum of x and y, which means we do not necessarily need to find the individual values of x and y. Now notice what happens when we subtract the bottom equation from the top equation. 3x minus 2x equals x. Next, negative 4y minus negative 5y equals positive or plus 1y. And finally, 3 minus 5 equals negative 2. Since we can see that x plus y equals negative 2, the answer here must be a.